Hello and welcome to Stoke Audi. Today I'm going to be showing you around this approved used Audi Q2 S line, 35 TFSI with 150 PS and the six speed manual gearbox. This particular Audi Q2 does come finished in the Aura blue iridescent paint finish. And this being an approved used Audi does come with the minimum of one year's warranty as well as one year's roadside assistance. And if you would like any more information on the vehicle, then please do give our team a call on 01782 488 205. Coming to the front of the vehicle, we do have this car's LED headlights, which do feature the headlight washers, keeping them nice and clean and making sure that that bream is nice and bright bright. Coming around the front of the vehicle, we can see the signature large Audi grille with the chrome Audi rings to the center. And this car also features some silver styling cues around the vehicle's exterior. Coming down the side of the vehicle, we do have this car's five spoke Y design alloy wheels, giving a nice contrast to that aura blue iridescent paint finish. And if you take a look down the side, we can see the S-Line badges signifying the car's S-Line trim level. We also have the black trim around the windows and the rear silver seat pillar finished in the silver colour, adding a nice contrast again to the paint finish. Coming down the side and opening the rear passenger side door, we can take a look at this car's interior to the rear, with the rear seats finished in the leather and cloth material. These seats do feature the child isofix anchor points, allowing you to easily install a child car seat into the rear of the vehicle. And as you can see, you can sit three rear passengers nice and comfortably. As we take a look around, we can see there is plenty of legroom here in the back for adults and children alike. And coming to the rear of the vehicle, we do have this car's rear LED tail lights. We also have the dual exhaust pipes to the bottom and the relevant badging for the vehicle. The car's rear tail lights do also feature the dynamic indicators. They can open this car's rear powered tailgate with a simple hold of the button on the keys. This opens the rear powered tailgate automatically for you, a really nice handy feature should you find you have your hands full. Taking a look inside, we can see the rear seats do fold in a 60-40 configuration to open the space up should you need to carry larger or longer items, while a button to the top of the rear tailgate closes it automatically for you. Again, a really nice handy feature when you have your hands full. This is a 2020 year model of the Audi Q2 and to date has covered just over 21,450 miles. As we come down the opposite side and open the driver's side door, we can take a look at this car's interior to the front. The first thing you'll notice is the full leather multifunction steering wheel. We have the analog dial display with the central trip computer screen. And to the center, we have the car's multimedia display screen, which is all controlled via the scroll dial and easy access menu buttons located in the center console. The screen does give nice and easy access to many of the car's tech features, as well as changeable settings. Take a look around, you can see the front seats do come again finished in that leather and cloth material, with the embossed S logos just below the head restraints, again signifying the car's S-line trim level. And these seats do feature plenty of manual adjustment controls to really help you find that perfect driving position. So thank you for coming on a 360 tour of this approved used Audi Q2 S line. Remember, if you would like any more information on this vehicle, then please do give our team a call. And if you stick around in this video, we are going to go on a more in-depth tutorial around the car's interior. Taking a look from the driver's perspective, we do have that full leather multifunction steering wheel, which to the right houses the controls for the volume up and down. We have the voice command button, the telephone answering button, as well as a customizable star button, which can be changed in the car's settings menu. Moving over to the opposite side, we do have the controls for that central trip computer screen, which we'll take a look at in a second. And moving down below, we have this car's cruise control stalk, which is perfect for those longer motorway journeys. Taking a look at the analog dial display, you can see it shows all the information the driver needs. And as you can see, you can use those buttons on the steering wheel to change the information shown in the central trip computer screen. Moving over to the driver's door panel, we have these central locking buttons for the doors to the front and rear of the vehicle. And moving down below, we do have the electronic adjustment controls for the door mirrors to either side. We have the electronic window controls for the windows for the front and rear. And we also have the child locks for the two rear doors. Moving over to the center of the car's dash, we have this car's multimedia display screen. And using the scroll dial in the center console, we can easily select from options like the car's built-in Audi smartphone interface with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, making it really nice and easy to connect your smartphone device to the car's display, gaining access to your music streaming services, as well as a range of compatible applications. 
Coming into the car's radio system, we have the DAB radio, which does come with a great choice of radio stations to choose from. And coming into the car's menu, we have the Audi Drive Select with efficient, comfort, auto, dynamic and individual driving style to choose from. Also in this menu, we can change the volume of the car's rear parking sensors, giving a nice audible indication of how close you are to objects behind you. Coming further down below, we do have this car's manual climate control dials. And the dials make it really nice and easy to change the in-car temperature, the fan intensity, as well as the fan's direction, with a central button to turn on and off the car's air conditioning system. As we move further down below, we do have this car's 12 volt power sockets as well as a USB-A port for easily connecting those smartphone devices and keeping them nice and charged. As we move further back, we do have some adjustable cup holders, keeping those drinks nice and secure. And finally, we come to this car's six-speed manual gearbox. And moving further back still, we have that adjustment dial for the multimedia system, as well as a range of quick access buttons for different menu options and the car's electronic parking brake. So thank you for coming on a tour of this Audi Q2 S line. Remember, as an approved used Audi, this car does come with the minimum of one year's warranty, as well as one year's roadside assistance, and we have plenty of finance options available. For a personalised finance quote on this vehicle or to book a test drive, then please do give our team a call on 01782 488 205. Thank you.